No? Like the 1870s Pickering Storm Chaser. Those balls are magnetized to create the magnetic vortex and wards off thunderstorms. Oh, okay, cool. Leave that hooked up for the rest of the day for us, please. <laughs> Definitely leave that hooked up. It's working. Those are tough. Brand new cylinder. 
you know, a little odds and ends pieces, but I had to start putting them together yet because I'm trying to get the crop that I got together. Great job with this one. Thanks for bringing it out. Beautiful. Does it have a speed? Is that no, I can shut it down and, and keep changing it? I had it set to run more slowly, That's it. I, I just had to readjust the main bearing caps so and change everything. The governor. I tell you what, it's a pretty engine. It's got a lot of brass on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Hold on. And then you have it. it is that a conversion over to propane? Uh, this one is, but there was natural gas for these engines available. Wow. Right, How will it run on that little tank? Oh, uh, it'll be, you know, not working it like this. It'll run all day. Oh, more than a day. Yeah. Wow, really? Well, remember That's this. Cool. See, this is a demand regulator, so when the engine's posting, there's no gas coming out. Right. Being the regulator only allows gas to flow when there's a vacuum signal. Oh my God, that's so much more convenient. Yeah. No more check ball. No more drain the tank right. every year. Oh, yeah. No more. Right. Right. That's great. Yeah, it's very clean. So, so, yeah.
That's only because you weren't up high enough, right? It, it should actually, have been up a little more. Actually, it was starting to bind because I didn't have my wedge in. I got gotcha. you. But it is, it's all butt through. It might have a... Uh, oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's all butt through. Got that wicked knot on the bottom of it. There you but go. But that's all that was that's, holding it. That's it. Yeah. A little bit of bark. Great display. Thank you. Good, thank you. You're just getting it started? Yes, no. Been going for a while, but still burning wood. That's all it'll burn. 
Uh, w just wood, no coal? I ain't going, I don't burn coal. Wow, she holds quite a bit of wood. Oh yeah.
pretty clean, huh? That's good. I'm just trying to learn more about the engine because I know very little about the engine. I'm more... Yeah, I built it in 1960. The engine's uh, late, late 19-10s. The transmission is the bottom A. The steering box is a Chevrolet. The front end's a Crosley. Wow. Um, throttle linkage off of Farmall. Carburetor off of Wisconsin. And is it a, a hit and miss or a throttle? It was a hit and miss, but he changed it to the throttle throttler. because more power consistent. The nature of a hit and miss is yeah. you freewheel when it's not under load. So when you went downhill, it just went freewheel. Right. So he did it this way so the engine can hold itself back. back. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, because brakes were really never a big thing back then no, either, of it's course. it's got one that this is the brake, and it, it's basically useless. Yeah. Pretty much useless. 